Hey, it's me Reginald from Email Review Hub and welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'll show you how to create your very first email campaign in Send in Blue. So in this video, I'll teach you how to create a contact list. Then I'll teach you how to set up the campaign, then design the email. And after that, you can schedule or you can send right away your campaign email. Then after that, you can I'll teach you how to monitor the results. So stick around and keep watching. Now a little overview of Send in Blue. So Send in Blue is an email marketing platform which empowers businesses to build and grow relationships through email campaigns, transactional emails, SMS messages, marketing automation, Facebook ads, chat, CRM, and retargeting ads. Also, with Send in Blue, you can create mobile friendly emails. You can integrate advanced designs, scheduling, and automation. They have that. Also, their deliverability is solid. They have nice integrations. Also, clear and complete reports. And it's the statistics that you need. And also, the integrated, you can integrate Send in Blue to Google Analytics. So, let's dive right in and I'll teach you how to create your first email campaign on Send in Blue. Now, the first step is to add contacts. So, the way you do it is like this. So, you see in the top min menu. So, you just click on co contacts here. Now you click on import contacts. You can you can also use this one, the add a contact, but that will take too long, especially if you have a lot of contacts. So this is only used if you just wanted to add just only one or two contacts at a time. So yeah, this one you use this one to add add contacts in bulk. So we click on import contacts. Next, okay, we got the import options here. So it's either you copy and paste your contacts from your XLS file or you upload a file. So whichever is convenient for you, you choose that one. But I'll, for this, for the sake of this tutorial, I will use the uploading file option. So let's click on upload a file. Now let me get my this one. Okay, I already have a CSV file saved. There you go. Then you click on confirm your file. Now this one, this is the mapping of data. Okay, so when you upload your CSV file, Send in Blue doesn't know which one which one is the emails, which one is the last name and the first name. So it gets confused. Maybe email you can detect, especially here. So especially with the at sign here, you can detect that. But this one, you have to manually map this data. So this one is last name. So I'll select last name here. These ones are first names. So first names okay because my CSV file has three columns on it the email the last name and the first name so you have to tell send in blue which ones which one is which so after that all is correct you click on confirm mapping now when that is done you select the list and where you want the contacts to be added to or you can create a new one so for the sake of this example let's create a new one let's create my new list folder leave it blank then create list there you go then it shows up as number five my new list so we click on the checkbox here if you wanted if you want to add to all the lists you can do that so i'll select um this one the number two then confirm your list 
Okay, and then this one, finalize your import. Just check on the agreement here. Then confirm your import. That's it. Then there you go. It will take some time before it finishes the importing. So they need to <clears throat> verify my list of contacts before importing it. So it will take more than an hour. Okay, we can wait. But as you can see, it's already here. They're just not verified yet. So that's how you create a list, a contact list. Now let's move on to designing your first campaign email. Now let's set up your campaign. Okay. What you do is on the top menu, you click on campaigns. Next, you click on create an email campaign after which so you give the campaign a name let's see email review hub awesome campaign okay subject line could be anything maybe a uh, 25 percent off on our t-shirts uh, this is just an example then you choose the from email already have that from name okay let's change it to email review hub then next step now you have the choice on how to design your email so it's either the drag and drop editor and I think you're familiar with this then the rich text editor this is the what you see and what you get editor so it's the it's just mostly text you know then you can also paste your HTML code so if you have a programmer or a developer just who created a an awesome email template for you then you can paste the code here and you just click save then you open with I mean you click close okay, next say next step but for this tutorial we will use the drag and drop editor so let's click on drag and drop editor now you're shown with this screen here you can even change the background color okay let's put it gray the logo, I don't have images for logo yet, but let's the title 25% off our t shirts. Okay, we even change the image here. If you want to rem remove this, just click, just hover over this image, then click on the trash bin here, the delete, excuse me. Then Design element, these are the design elements, the title, text, you can even add buttons, space, okay, you can even add image boxes, two column image boxes, three columns, even an image plus content, okay. So if you're done with your email, you can send a test email or you can save and quit. Okay, let's click on save and quit first. Now you're in the design. Okay, this is the design preview. So this is what it will look like on desktops. So let's see, you can even switch it to mobile view. Okay, here. This is what it looks like. I know it's not the prettiest email, but I don't have images. Okay, then you can even preview as a recipient, you can even view the HTML code or view the plain text version. Okay, so when you think everything is okay and then good, then you can click on next step. Now see the, the list that we created earlier, we can use that now. Okay, it's either the first list, ah, it's this one, my new list. Okay. You can even add a segment, you can even use segments here. 
but I haven't set up the segments so we can use it update recipient counts okay then we choose next step your campaign is ready to be sent so you just do the final chain checkers checking okay Everything looks good. So if all looks good, you can now schedule to send it. It's either you can send it now or you schedule for a specific time. There's also the third option, set it at the best time, but it's only for a premium feature. So, okay. Let's choose send it now for now. Then, then click confirm. And there you go. Just click confirm. There you go. That, that's how you send an email campaign. You already sent your first email campaign. Now next we will we will check the report. So let's do that next. Now it's time to monitor the results. So on your dashboard, you click on statistics. It's found on the left side of the page, the left menu. Then you scroll down. Okay, this. Okay, this is the one email review hub awesome campaign. So as you can see, no one opened it yet. You can you can check who opened, who clicked who unsubscribe and bounces okay there are a lot of bounces then the sent date actions so under actions you can click on report here it will lead you to a more detailed more detailed uh, info on your campaign so check that timeline here click links this is the summary Okay, it has more in-depth info here. So there you go. That's how you check your reports. Well, there you go. That's how you create an email campaign on Send in Blue. I hope this video helped you a lot. If if you want to try out Send in Blue, Send in Blue, the links are in the description. Don't forget to leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm Reginald from Email Review Hub. Thank you for watching.